Hey everyone, Mar here, and today I'm going to re be reviewing some more Shopkins cutie cars. I have number two, the Chop Chip Racer, and number three, the Strawberry Speedy Seeds. But what I'm really excited about is I found a Scooby Doo a Valentine gift tin set at Walmart. And I can't wait to check it out. As you can see, it's got a cute plushie. Isn't it awesome? I'm going to move our little sign back here. And let's check out. Look at this cool Valentine's set. And I thought these Shop Shopkins cute cards would be perfect for Valentine gifts, too. I thought they would be great. Especially, like, the little strawberry with all the red. And then, of course, Chop Chip chocolate chip cookies and the little mini Shopkins kind of looks like a heart and we'll see that better when I take it out of the box but check out this Scooby gift bag a uh, gift bag well gift well I guess you would consider it a gift bag and let's see it's happy Valentine's Day and it was five dollars and it's got where you can you can tear the little price tag off if you want and it has a small to and from and it has a very cute Scooby-Doo artwork and let's see licensed licensed tin can with candy and of course stuffed toys and all that. it comes with a, a red bow that you a ribbon that you can tie into a bow this one that I grabbed I don't know if they were all, any of them were tied up with a bow or if that's just there for you to that but I'm gonna there's a plastic zip tie here I'm gonna have to get my scissors yeah I'm gonna have to get scissors to and I'll get those in just a moment and get this out of the package so we can take a closer look but it does come with some candy a plushie and this cool tin which has two designs so I'm gonna get my scissors and we're going to see if I could well, I may have to go get a something. Oh, no, my strongers are ugh, my scissors are strong enough. So of course you got the cute ribbon, which I'm going I might use for my dolls. I would make a cute hair ribbon. I might do that. So let's see what's all. I think it's just the plushie and the candy and the tin. I think it says tissue paper under there, but we are going to find out. And I guess if I, I'm going to have to back up my camera a little bit here, guys, so you can get a better look. Isn't it cute? And there we go. There's nothing right in here. Let's see. There's tape. Okay, that came off. Some more tape here. Oh, they even put the tape on the plushie. Yikes. I hope that won't mess the plushie up. Okay, let's see. More tape on here. Let's see. We're just going to take the scissors. And, alright. At least it seems to be coming off and not doing damage to the plushie. We're taking the tape off. I don't want it to hurt the plushie because that's All this tape. I don't know why, it, but the artwork is cute. It's a let's see, 0.85 ounce of hard candy, and oh look, he's got hard glasses on. That's cute. And everything is so taped up. I was gonna see what kind of candies we had. Hard candy, but it doesn't say like what flavor. Oh, okay, you get. Oh, and that tape. Oh, I'm gonna have to get. Okay, that's really cute artwork. I really like. It. Of course, it's Scooby Doo. Of course, I'm gonna like it. You get four candies, and let's see what kind of candy. Oop, it's white. White and green. Mm, let me smell. It really doesn't have any smell to it. Let me taste it. 
Well, I'm not sure. It's either kind of like a watermelon or maybe a green apple. It's not very strong. It's a fruity taste. I think there's more tape there, I hope. Really don't want to ruin the paint. There we go. Thankfully, the tape is coming out pretty easily. And I think that's the sticky stuff that I'm hoping is not is going to come off and not ruin the picture. Because look at how cute. This is on the one side. Scooby-Doo. And then on this side... It's same with XOXO, so love, hug, love and hugs. And cute cupcakes with sprinkles. Perfect for Valentine's, and then you can turn it around for this other part times of the year. The tape will come off. They put a lot of tape on here, didn't they, guys? And let's check out the cute plushie. I don't think it, oh, it's taking off some of the fur. Can you see that? I see some black there. I really don't think that was necessary for them to put all that tape. But other than that, he's really cute and he's soft. The fur is soft, but he is firm. He's not squishy. He's not squishy. squishy. So he will set up. And there's what he's. You can see his, it's hard when he's sitting like that to see his eyes, but he does have embroidered eyes. And there, they are really nicely done. Got something on your, there we go. Had a little something on his nose. And he's got, of course, his Scooby-Doo SD for his dog tag. And this is, mm, heavy, yeah, it's heavy duty cardboard. And then you got some ribbon there. And nice work on the stitches. Or, well, nope. I think that's fur because if you do it you can see the brown in there it's like paint I think they painted those on so I'd be careful with that definitely like be like a, just a dust off don't put it in the I wouldn't put it in the washing machine but this is very cute very nice for five dollars and then let's see I'm thinking this is gonna be nothing but tissue paper yep which I can recycle and reuse for another gift, maybe, in a gift bag. And that's just some paper. Or maybe I'll find a doll craft or something to do with it. Who knows? I will definitely recycle or do something with it. I'm going to push that to the side. And then you just have the candy information. And then the cool Scooby-Doo's all in the back. But that is a nice little set for five dollars. To me, it's worth the candies. Yeah, the candy's okay. Nothing really special about the candy, but five bucks for a plushie and a tin. Awesome. I think that's a really good deal. What do you guys think? And like I said, I found these at Walmart. And I can't remember where I found the cutie cars. Okay, Scooby, let's check out the cutie cars. Oh, here. Let me see. I'm going to open up and then I'll rewrap it. I'm still working on the first candy. I just want to see. They're probably all the same. But just in case you guys are wondering. Oh. That one's red. So, they're pro so you do get some different kind of candy. But it's hard candy. Let's see. So I'm probably thinking the red's red and the white. The, sil the silver is the white with the green. And these are the white and the red. Yeah. Oh! Oh, there it goes. Hang on, guys. Oh, I'm just hitting everything. That fell on the floor. I'm not going to eat that, but I am going to smell it. It doesn't have any smell either, so... I'm going to guess it's fruity like this other one. It's, I'm still sucking on. So let's check out these cutie cars. This is the chalk chip racer. And here is the back. Name is a chalk chip racer. He the model is convertible cutie. 
Features are clever and high tech. She's one smart cookie. Likes and dislikes. She dislikes rough roads. They make her crumble. And of course we have our tiny Shopkin to check out. And here are some of the other ones you can collect. And of course there's a website, Kids Get Your Parents Permission. And it says you can contains the cutie card, mini Shopkins, and a collector's guide. And of course these are by Moose. And these are for ages... Do they put a... Yeah, ages 5 and up for this. And um, which I just think... I don't think they put an age on the Scooby Valentine. I don't think I saw an age. So you could pretty much the tin and the toy, the plushie, which is great for pretty much any age. You would just want to take out real little kids when you wouldn't want them to have the hard candy. Because it could be a choking hazard for little kids. And these open up really easy. And these are cute because you can display. These are awesome because if you're a collector like me, you have two options. You can... Sorry guys, I'm hitting the camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> you can leave them in the box, which is a cool display. Or you can take them out. I I like taking them out. I like creating scenes with them. And I'll admit, I'm a big kid. I like playing with them. They're fun. And then here is a checklist. And hopefully it's not too glary that you can see some of the ones. And if you haven't seen the checklist and you can't see it too good, just comment below and ask me and I could take pictures and put it up on our Facebook page, which I will put that link in the, so, but I'm only going to do it if somebody asks for it because I have a ton and I think I've shared them in other videos. So if you go back and check my other sh sh uh, kitty car openings, you should find a better view of the checklist, I think, and one, oh, and it just fell out. But look, I thought this one would be perfect for Valentine's because look. Isn't it heart shaped? Let me see if I can zoom in right quick. Focus. There we are. Look at it. It's so cute. But it's heart shaped. And I think they should have given names to the little mini Shopkins. I've never seen a, a name list for the mini Shopkins. Because I'm pretty sure the name on the packaging is for the cutie car itself. Which is a die cast metal. And the wheels go really well. So these are heavy duty. Um, they are like four, I think $4.99 at Target and Walmart. I want to say they're $5.99 at Toys R Us. But I believe I found, I either found, actually I think I ordered these two on... I can't remember. It's been a while. I've had these for a while and I've been wanting to review them. You can see the seatbelt, but I think I either got them at Walmart or I ordered them off Walmart.com. But right now, you're going to have to find them in stores. I've yet, I haven't seen them available from a, re a regular retail store online. And there's a little peg and a little hole, so it goes push down. And now... Isn't it so cute? She is so cute. Got a little tongue out. And she's like a little bear. I think she's a bear. And. Zoom out. And you can. See how good she rides. And, th and this is like a felt like. Tablecloth I have on my table. So it's like a piece of felt. So this shows you how good they ride right or roll rather except for you might want to make a quick getaway scooby-doo might eat you <laughs> all right let's check out strawberry speedy seeds let's see she strawberry speedy seeds is a name model is a buggy buddy features a sweet paint job that's very tasteful Likes and dislikes. Dislikes getting stuck in traffic jams. <laughs> and there are some other ones that you can collect. I will be coming, I, uh, you will, 
I have found the jelly bean machine and lollipop soft top. So look out for them in future video, upcoming videos. Which makes me think, hit that subscribe button below. It's free, doesn't cost anything. And then hit, make sure you, after you hit subscribe, hit the bell for the notif uh, notifications button. That way you are notified sooner of our uh, uh, when we post new videos. You can also find us on a Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr, and I will put the below, those below in the description. And these pop out really easy. And then, of course, the collector's guide. We're going to check this out right quick. And I will put links to um, some of our playlists, to our other Shopkins playlists, because it's not just cutie cards, it's regular Shopkins, it's happy places. And that's not coming out. There we go. You got your cute strawberry. Let's see if she'll zoom in. Got her little eyes closed. So cute. And the red's perfect. Goes good with that Scooby tin. They would be a great combination. Any of these, any cutie car would make a great Valentine's gift. And the top should, yep, the top comes off and you can make it a convertible if you wanted. Isn't she sweet face? And if I get some out of light here so you guys can see. Got little, looks like little freckles or strawberry seeds all around there on the sides. Really good. Love the die cast metal. And then because the top comes off so you can put the strawberry speedy seeds her and chop chip racers can have a race and then you pop it back on this is plastic on the top so you can take it off so you can put your little shopkins in there so what do you guys think aren't they cool i really i am really enjoying push that trash to the side i am really enjoying these cutie cars and i believe some people are even finding newer cars than they're on the checklist I have yet to even finish a full set. Let's see, say, and they're off. So what do you guys think of these cutie cars? They're fun to play with. I like them. And they're fun to put with the play sets. Um, if you didn't see already, you should check out. I did a review on the drive, um, the play set the, for the cutie cars, the drive-through. Does it have the name on here? drive through diner that's what it's called so these are awesome and let me know what you think of the scooby-doo valentine and you can store things in here which is awesome you can put your plushies you can put your toys carry it with you and you know what this would also make do, which was is what I might do with my tin. I'm thinking of getting some artificial flowers and make a floral arrangement and using it for a little flower, um, flower pot base. So that's just some ideas. And oh, he's so soft. I love Scooby Doo. So give me a big thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs up for Scooby Doo and Shopkins Cutie Cars. And I hope you will subscribe and uh, get the notification bell so you will know when I have my next new video up. Check out our channel. We have doll reviews, blind bag openings, other Shopkins, like I said, uh, My Little Pony, Zoo Zooms, all kinds of things. Check it out. Hopefully you'll find something else you'll like and enjoy and maybe something you were wanting to say, well, I want to see that up closer. So check out our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Also, there should be popping up about now, a up here, down here in this corner, a, a video, recommendation, video recommendation, if I can talk from YouTube, of one of mine or Mimi's other videos or one of us together. And the subscribe button should also pop up here. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I'm out of here. Bye.